Oh, I see. Good. Gosh. Good morning. And welcome to St. Francis Morning Prayer. My name is Mary Van Nostering, and I'm a member of the Vestry at St. Francis. And I'm Janet Karsmark. I'm a member of the Vestry also. Today's prayer is commemoration of Claire of Assisi. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is King, Psalm 97. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you comes. Zion hears and is glad. And the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. After this, Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptized. John also was baptizing at Aon, near Solomon, because water was abundant there, and people kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now, a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and the Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who is with you across the Jordan to whom you testified, here he is baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, no one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witness that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. For this reason, my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, 
but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. Honor and majesty are before him. Power and splendor are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, whose blessed Son became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich, deliver us from an inordinate love of this world that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant, Claire, may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grant us, Lord God, a vision of your world as your love would have it, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor. A world where the riches of creation are shared and everyone can enjoy them. A world where different races and cultures live in harmony and mutual respect. A world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, open our eyes that we may see the needs of others. Open our ears that we may hear their cries. Open our hearts that we may feel their anguish and their joy. 
Let us not be afraid to defend the oppressed, the poor, the powerless, because of the anger and might of the powerful. Show us where love and hope and faith are needed and use us to bring them to those places. Open our ears and our eyes, our hearts and lives, that we may in these coming days be able to do some work of justice and peace for you. Amen. O oh God, you bring hope out of emptiness, energy out of fear, new life out of grief and loss. As Mary returned to mourn, yet found unspeakable joy, so comfort all who have lost their homes through persecution, war, exile, or deliberate destruction. Give them security, a place to live, and neighbors they can trust to be with them, a new sign of peace to the world. Amen. Hear our prayer for all those who will die today because of war and economic oppression, especially the children. Prepare them for agony, despair, and terror of the violence that is upon them. Comfort them and hold them close to your bosom of your heart as they drink deeply of the bitter cup which is forced upon them. Wipe their tears, calm their fears, Welcome them to peace and safety. Eternal rest grant them, and may perpetual light shine upon them. May all rise in judgment against the wickedness that brings this violence upon the world. Overturn the thrones of tyranny, scatter the unjust, cast down the bloody rulers, who make the cry of the widow and orphan rise to heaven. Give us grace and strength to stand against the dynamic, demonic powers which prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Grant that peace and justice will come to all the world. Amen. Almighty God, who revealed the resurrection of your son to Joanna, Mary, and Salome, as they faithfully came bearing myrrh to his tomb, Grant that we too may perceive the presence of the risen Lord in the midst of pain and fear, that we may go forth proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we, we, we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Lead us from death to life. From falsehood to trust. Lead us from despair to hope. From fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love. From war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, our universe. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs>